So good morning. Um, good morning. Hello. Um, I'm so excited to be here today. Uh, my name is Heather Boucher. I'm the Executive Director and Chief Economist at the Washington Center for Equitable Growth. And um, it's my honor to get to welcome you all and to um, have Equitable Growth host this event um, along with um, uh, some help. Um, today, we're going to be hearing from leading experts and policymakers on issues of antitrust and competition policy. And we'll be concluding with keynote remarks from Federal Trade Commissioner Terrell McSweeney. I'm very excited to hear from this morning. Um, I want to start by thanking Senator Klobuchar and her staff for helping us with this room. It's fantastic. I was very excited um, when I heard that we were going to be doing it in this gorgeous room here in, in the Dirksen office building. Um, and we're so excited to have this large group of experts um, here with us today to talk about this very timely and important topic. Um, I'm sure we're going to have a very um, interesting and stimulating conversation. I want to just give a few remarks about equitable growth before I begin. So um, the Washington Center for Equitable Growth is a research and grant making organization. John Podesta and I founded the organization in 2013 with the mission of conducting and funding cutting edge analysis into whether and how inequality affects economic growth and stability in order to inform policy making. So on our grant making side, our goal is to find and fund interesting lines of research, exploring the intersections of economic inequality and economic growth. And the work by the experts that we have here today um, is extremely valuable in helping us understand what antitrust and competition policy actually means. We often see the business case for um, specific instances. The idea that competition is good for consumers is a concept that crosses the political aisle. But how is that being enforced? And what is the role that policy and government should take when thinking about competition? We've seen a lot of um, articles in the news recently about skyrocketing, skyrocketing drug prices. It's been shining a light on questions about competition from Congress, from the public, as a part of this presidential campaign. And we see this debate playing out in a variety of sectors, including airlines, uh, tech, and beyond. In recent work by the Council of Economic Advisors, um, they found that industries such as finance and insurance, retail and transportation and warehousing saw a greater than 10 percentage point increase in the share of revenue accruing to their 50 largest firms over the past 15 years. But what does that really mean? Maybe antitrust and competition policy actually have wider implications than has been previously acknowledged. We need to better understand those implications of antitrust policy on the economy as a whole, on inequality, and on families. And so that's why we're here today, to bring together some leading experts in the field, uh, together to have a discussion about how antitrust is practiced, how that's changed over the years, and to set the foundation for what we know and what we need to know moving forward. We hope that this will inform an approach to antitrust and competition policy that works for all. And we also hope that this can inform us as we go about thinking about our grant making in the years to come. Um, over the past three years, we've given away uh, almost $2 million, and we have about 100 grantees out there in the field. And we're hoping to encourage more research in this area in the years to come. And we plan to use what we learned today to help us inform that grant making. So we are very grateful um, for the uh, help of all the panelists today and for all of you who've come to hear us um, have this conversation. Um, I'm going to note that the entire event is being live streamed. So hello to those of you online. Um, and. Uh, you know, who are watching it later. Um, but just so know that everything that you're saying is being um, recorded, so take that as you will. Um, so with that, I have the honor of being able to introduce the first group of panelists. So let me um, uh, invite them to come up and take a seat, and then I'll introduce you.